Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Exit Automation. And today we'll be talking about Test Rigger. This is an all new tool which can create autonomous, low maintenance, ultra stable, functional UI test. So if you have never heard about Test Rigger tool before, pretty much like me, then this tool is something you should be really, really looking for. Why Test Rigger? Test Trigger is a feature specification engine designed to allow anyone on your team to build, maintain, and understand tests created and executed in plain text. That is the most important thing about this Test Trigger itself. Pretty much like the BDD scenarios that we write in Cucumber or Specflow, something like that. Those are something which we write especially to tell that this is the test case that we are going to be automating and all the QA, BA, and testers automation test engineers or developers should be on the same page. And that's exactly what we're gonna do with the test trigger, but just that you don't really have to write even a single step definition implementation that we used to do in Cucumber because it's all going to be plain text. That is the most important thing on this test trigger, which is nothing but the plain text, which is gonna look something like this. As you can see over here, all I'm doing is like, I'm gonna write like click flexi pass on a page and then click that the page contains what is flexi pass click the idea and if that particular tab has got this one and all these things. So you can see that I'm not even writing a single line of code here and these texts are going to be automatically transformed into your test and then it is going to perform the action on the UI. And how is all these things are possible? Well, it's AI powered. Once again, this is another tool which is going to have AI in it, which is going to be performing all the magics for you. So this AI is trained on tens and thousands of industry leading websites and applications. So test trigger know exactly what to perform on a specific control and creates a test based on extensive database of common and industry specific rules. And it customizes the rule to include your application specific functions as needed. That is the cool thing about this test trigger itself. And not only that, it also includes what is called as a behavioral driven test case creation, which is the most important thing which I would think as one of the most important milestone of this test automation tool. Because test trigger learns from your user interactions and mirrors their behavior to create automated tests. So simply deploy a Google Analytics like JavaScript library in the production code and start receiving new tests within days for most frequent used end-to-end -end test cases. So if you inject this JavaScript like code snippet on your application's source code, then you will start receiving the code directly within your test case service, which is running on test trigger. And then you will see that that's the most important pattern that the user is performing in action. And that test cases is gonna be helpful for you to even execute and see how it actually works. That's pretty cool. So this is one of the another amazing thing, which we'll probably be discussing in this particular series. So let's quickly see everything in action that we have seen over here on the slide and understand how things work as a quick demo. So this is the test trigger website, testrigger.com. If you go over here, you can see that they have got the details like what we have discussed over here. So it tells you exactly that it focuses on QA instead of test maintenance, behavioral driven test creation that we just saw. And the most important thing they talk about is the plain English test as you can see over here, which has got all the details, which I'm not gonna be going in the first video because that's gonna be looking a bit boring. So this is the signed up version of the test trigger app, which I actually signed up from here. And you can see that it is a free public plan, which I have. You can run up to one parallelization, but if you want to run tests in two parallel execution, then probably you need to purchase the paid one. But the free one, you can do almost everything because everything is unlimited as you can see over here, which is cool. And let's get into this particular page over here with a logged in version of the test trigger. And I'm gonna show you a simple example of how you can create a test case with your plain English text. Let's see how it can be done. But if you are thinking that you don't even know what command that you need to be giving, I will tell you another trick that how you can actually get through that. So for example, if I'm gonna test this uh, EA app uh, to something like that, uh, and I know the website name is uh, eaapp.somi.com, and I'm gonna give the username as admin, I know the password is password, and I'm gonna choose the Ubuntu operating system and I want to select this as zero because I don't want to automatically generate some test cases using auto discovery. Basically, this is another cool feature which is gonna happen for you automatically. It's gonna generate some auto discoverable test cases, which I'm gonna show you later in this series, but let it be zero for now. And I'm gonna hit create test suite. 
And once I do that, you will see that it is gonna show me there is no test cases yet, like in this particular app, which is all right. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to be logging into my eaapp.somi.com website. And on this particular place, it tells you that there is an option called as add custom test cases. So you can start writing the test case from here. So let's see how I can do that. So manual test. And now you may be wondering like, what test case should I write? Because I don't know exactly what command this tool is looking for. And probably you can go over here and you can see that I actually installed a recorder over here, which is nothing but the test rigors Chrome extension, which is available on this site itself. So you can actually download the test triggers Chrome extension from here. You can see this Chrome extension. So if you just select that, it is going to show you the Chrome extension and you can start installing it from here. But even in the first video to show actually how the recording is going to look like, because that's going to be pretty much exactly the same, like how you do in the Selenium or Ranorex or any other paid commercial tool or free tools that you have used before. I'm actually not going to show you the record and playback option because it looks like a gimmick. So probably I'm just going to go over here and I will just try writing a manual test case pretty much from my own uh, English language, I what I know basically. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's take this particular site, right? Like this application over here. And let's go one by one. So in order to start writing the test, first of all, I'm going to do this, right? I'm going to click the uh, login link. Uh, and once I click this particular login, I need to enter the uh, admin as the username. So enter admin uh, in username. So that's going to be the field which I wanted to enter and then enter uh, password, which is the password actually in uh, password. So you can see that I'm just typing pretty much like what I know and I need to click this login button. So click login. You don't really have to tell like button or something like that. This is fine for you to uh, actually tell this probably uh, let's say if I just say login button, I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to leave this guy as it is. And this login should have a bit of space because that's what is important. Uh, and once we are in this uh, login, let's say what is going to happen. So once I type admin, password is password and once I click the login you will see that I get the uh, employee details uh, and manage user this was not there before so I'm gonna say click employee details and then I also need to uh, click the manage users so manage uh, users what about that yeah and also I wanted to click the employee list over here and then I need to click a create new button, which is something over there. So click uh, create new. And once I click this create new, I need to click the back to list option, something like that. And then I'm gonna click the log off. That's it. So this is my scenario. So you can see that this is a basic plain English text manual test case scenario, which I'm gonna add over here. And I wanted to see if this test is actually gonna execute or not. So once I do that, you will see that this tool is telling me that uh, it is going to start executioning, executing of the test. And you can see that it is trying to type something there on the on the screen. So whatever I told just now, it is actually happening. So you can see uh, it's showing me the log off, clicking on the buttons. And there you go. I think it's working fine. So let's see what's really happening. So I definitely am sure that this is going to enter the username and password is clicking the login button. So it's highlighting me what it's doing. And hopefully it is logged in already. You can see it is logged in. And once I log in, open it separate in window. So you can see that it is on this particular page, which is cool. Uh, and let's see if it has clicked the create new. You can see that it is on this page and it should click the create new. Do you see that? It is actually showing me that create new button is being clicked, which is cool. Uh, and it is on this particular page, awesome. And then it is also gonna click the log off link. There you go, it is clicking that. And it is on this particular page. Cool, right? Now that's, that's pretty awesome. And if I wanted to really do some sort of uh, checking, let's say if I want to check if the log off button doesn't really exist, something like that, then I can also check does not exist. I think that is the command, but let's see if I am right. And you can see that once I do a wrong command there, it is going to tell me that that does not exist, doesn't really exist on this particular command sheet. 
So probably I should rephrase what I should be. So I should probably say like check that page does not contain log off, something like that. So let's see if that works. There you go. That's I think that makes this uh, tools keyword to be happy. And once I do that, it is going to start executing the test once again. So this is the power of this tool itself, guys. Like this is very, very plain English text. So whatever that we type, it is going to start showing up for us. And if you don't really know what exactly is that particular uh, language that we should be using, like the plain English text that we should be using. So then we should be getting a bit familiar about that command that we should be using. Because if you see over here for the click, it says click cart, click on the third hello five times click Chrome on the context of Pixel 3 XL, click in the middle of the screen, right click on the third hello, something like that. So you can see that it is just like a pretty much like a plain text, like how you want it to do and everything is working fine, which is awesome. So you can see that this time it has even checked that the log up does not contain and the test has got passed, which is cool. So this is how we could actually see how the test trigger actually performs it in action. But in our next video, we'll see even more advanced interaction, the test rigor help us to do it. For example, within this particular eaapp.somi.com website, if we go to the employee list, we can see that there are delete links over here and they are pretty much exactly the same name. So if I wanted to delete this Karthik employee, then how do I tell test rigor that I wanted to delete for Karthik, something like that? Like, how do I do that? So those things we'll be discussing in our next video. But for now, this is an amazing tool to get started with. Definitely worth trying out. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Meet you in the next one.